What's up, everybody? Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for taking this time to watch this video and, uh, you know, show me your support. Uh, so this piece right here is going to be a first thing. Um, I've never painted a portrait. I've tried when I was a teenager. I did a wall. Um, but that was a very long time ago. I let alone do a portrait of somebody who was an artist and then do a portrait for somebody who is an artist. So this this portrait right here is gonna be of uh, Frida Kahlo. Um, I'm hoping I'm saying this right. Um, she was a, a Mexican artist. The person who this is for is an extremely talented artist who always looks up to her, reveres her. So she had asked me to do this for her. At first I was like kind of mind blown because it's like she can do portraits. She's, such, she's so talented that it was like, do I really want to take this on? So I kind of downplayed it to her, like if I wasn't going to do it. And then I decided to, you know, definitely do it and really give it a real shot. Now, I was not going for the really realistic and for it to match 100%. I just wanted to give my version of a Frida. I'm um, hoping that I did some sort of justice to the situation because this painting is for, for somebody who is uh, not only beautiful inside, but beautiful outside and is always looking to help other people. Very unselfish person. So if I can put a smile on her face for all the time she does for everybody else, you know, that will mean a lot to me. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm doing a picture of her or artist and it's a it's, it's going to go to someone who's already a crazy artist. So let's, uh, you know, let's hope I can pull it off. Check it out. So what I have here is a pack of brand new brushes, all prime wood panel. It's already ready. You don't need to add nothing extra to it. As you can see, eight by eight. This cost me, I don't know, maybe $15. Some Posca uh, markers. If I have to do any really small details, I have a little uh, Angeles Gold, yellow, got a little Fincetta, champagne, playing the sand. Salmon and Georgia peach. Some of these colors are similar to each other. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, but I'm going to have to mix a good amount of them. Um, then over here, we got fire red and red. Some raspberry, a flat back. And uh, let's get to it. painted it how I painted it just to get a, a feel and just to get the color in there and everything else could be adjusted because get back to it
So I went back in there, cleaned up some of the lines. I thought maybe with a little two bold, try to thin her out. This is her favorite, um, well, the most famous saying that she had a famous quote, which was uh, Viva La Vida, which is uh, um, live the life. I know it isn't perfect, but almost like her, if you look into her history, she wasn't perfect. She had a lot of imperfections about her, and that's what she embraced. I'm hoping that uh, the person this is going to really enjoys this. I like the way the background came out. You can see a lot of the brush strokes, but I felt like it gave the painting character. So what I'm gonna do now to finish it off, it's too hot, it's 90 something degrees outside. I'm not gonna go out there to spray the matte finisher. I would normally spray, uh, you know, a Krylon matte finisher on everything. Protect your artwork a little bit more. This paint, for the most part, it says is, is uh, you know, waterproof and stuff like that, but I always like to use a, a finish. And in this case, I'm gonna use this finish too. Uh, the problem with this finish is sometimes it could be a little shiny, even though it says matte. But I think because the wood soaks everything up so much, it's, you know, it might end up coming out pretty good. So, yeah, that's it, man. Now it's time to apply this. In the comment section for all you pros, I know some of y'all going to have a lot to say about this. But not only is this my first time, but one of the main things that took me away from art years ago was the fact it was all the technical stuff. You know, I don't care for the technical stuff. I just want to do what's in my mind, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, if you guys have some advice, I'll gladly take some advice. But, you know, I'm not dwelling on that kind of stuff. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, painting, man. So, there you have it. Again, this is my version. Um, it was not meant to be a, a mirror image of what the photo was or anything like It's my version. Time now to pack it up. I have it packaged so it's nice and safe and it's time for us to send it because this painting is going to travel all right, very far from me. Definitely very far. I've never been there. Um, again, hope it puts a smile on her face. Hopefully, hopefully she enjoys it. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the alert bell. Press all notifications so you know every time I drop something. On top of that, there are links in a... In a Description where you can follow me on social media, alright? Hope you all have a good day and salute.